Okay, I had this exact same problem the last time when the first Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer came out. Don't get me wrong, I love living in Australia. I think we're the most blessed country in the world. But we miss out on everything. When trailers go viral, what are we doing? We're asleep! So like last time, I awake to all these amazing screenshots of the trailer and me not watching it. So I've watched it 10 times, let's talk about it. So I don't know whether to call this a second teaser trailer or trailer number two. It's nearly two minutes long, so fuck it. I'm gonna call it trailer number two. The second trailer to Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, directed by J.J. Abrams, has been released online. And how is it? Absolutely glorious. As if it wouldn't be. So let's talk about what happens in the trailer. The trailer starts off with Lucasfilm. Okay, no Disney. Oh! Jedi! We then hear a voiceover, not of Andy Serkis, but of Mark Hamill. Even though we don't see Mark Hamill in the trailer at all, it's pretty obvious it's his voice. He goes on to say, the force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. Over that voiceover, we see a melted Vader helmet with a skull inside. Now that is gnarly. We then see a shot of R2-D2 by a fire accompanied by someone who is gently caressing him. It's got to be Luke, so you see the robotic hand. We then see another shot of someone passing Luke's lightsaber to someone, and I'm guessing that's Leia, because with that shot, we get the voiceover, my sister has the force. And as with any template of a movie trailer, we get an epic montage. We see this beautiful shot of X-Wing soaring over water, and it just looks absolutely amazing. Yes, it's CGI, it's not old school miniatures, but it charmed the pants off me. We then get images of Finn, Rey, and Kylo Ren. Yes, the villain, the badass, the dude with the Pineapple Express cross-joint lightsaber. And we also get a nice front-on shot of the new Stormtroopers. I love the design. It's updated, and it's still simple and recognizable. Well done. The X-Wings look pretty similar. There are some differences, but the TIE Fighter themselves look completely overhauled and updated. Again, they look great. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, right at the beginning, just after the Lucasfilm logo, there's a very familiar starship that has been ditched in the desert. That just sets the tone and makes you realize that the Empire has shit its pants and just been fucked over. Or has it? Now, near the end of the trailer, we get another glimpse of the Millennium Falcon. And last time, we saw the Falcon right at the end of the first trailer, which was just perfect. And you're thinking, okay, it's going into an old abandoned starship being chased by a TIE fighter or Imperial fighter. That's fine. That's going to be the end of the trailer. It goes black. But no. No, kids. We get a lovely surprise. Chewie. We're home. It's Grandpa Solo. It's Harrison Ford as Han Solo, old man Solo, and he looked rugged and awesome. Accompanied by Chewie. And then we get the title, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Guys, what I love about this trailer is it didn't give too much away at all. Don't hate Genesis. Even though we only got to hear Mark Hamill's voice, we didn't even get a glimpse of him, nor Carrie Fisher. We just got the main man, Grandpa Solo, at the end with Chewie. It's teasing the hell out of us, and that's what I love about films that are being released. The build-up. The foreplay, if you will. That's kind of weird. And over the entire trailer, we get John Williams' epic original Star Wars score, which just brought back so many memories. To me, even though everything's in HD these days, it still feels the same to me. It feels like the old Star Wars trilogy. Perfect example, Dumb and Dumber. They just don't deserve to be in HD glory. They tried to recapture what they had back in 94, it didn't work. With Star Wars, it seems as though Abrams is being faithful to the mythology and faithful to the original trilogy. Even though it's in HD, he's still doing an amazing job from what I've seen. Guys, Christmas is going to be glorious this year and I cannot wait. So if you guys have seen trailer number two or the second trailer, second teaser trailer, whatever, of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. As always, thanks very much for watching and your continuing support. And until next time, geeks, or Always remember, cosplayers do it best.